Carbon monoxide is a colorless, odorless gas that can have deadly effects if too much of it is inhaled. As a respiratory therapist, you may see patients who have inhaled too much of this deadly gas, and this condition is referred to as carbon monoxide poisoning. We created this video to cover the medical definition and provide you with a quick overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. As we just mentioned, carbon monoxide poisoning occurs when excess carbon monoxide is inhaled and accumulates in the blood, which can cause serious tissue damage and even death in some cases. As a medical professional, there will be times when a patient comes to the emergency department with serious smoke inhalation. When this is the case, more times than not, said patients will show signs and symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning, and you will need to know how to treat them effectively. Here's a simple rule of thumb. Carbon monoxide poisoning should be treated with the highest possible FiO2 that is available. Initially, a non-rebreathing mask can be used to administer up to 100% oxygen, but the goal should be to place the patient in a hyperbaric oxygen chamber as quickly as possible. If carbon monoxide poisoning is suspected, it's important to monitor the patient's oxygenation status. However, here's another important tidbit to remember. The patient's oxygenation should be analyzed with a CO oximeter instead of a pulse oximeter. That is because the affinity of carbon monoxide for hemoglobin is much higher than that of oxygen. Essentially, carbon monoxide binds to hemoglobin in red blood cells instead of oxygen, so it basically blocks the oxygen molecules from attaching where they normally would. This means that less oxygen is transported to the organs and tissues of the body, which explains why carbon monoxide poisoning can have such detrimental effects. We'll be breaking down this topic even further in future videos. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to dive deeper and learn more about this topic, be sure to check out some of the other videos that we have here on our channel. Also, you can go to respiratorytherapyzone.com where we have a ton of free study guides, practice questions, and other resources that I think you will enjoy. I'll drop links to everything you need right below this video down in the description. And if you want to support the channel, be sure to drop a like on this video, and you might as well go ahead and click the subscribe button while you're down there. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. That's it for this one. Have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy, my friend.